Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Mass Effect 1. Um, obviously, as we all know. Uh, I did have to stop playing yesterday for a bit. Sorry. Well, I guess it doesn't really make sense to you guys, but I recorded, I think, 10 episodes yesterday. So the first 10 you'll see uh, from 18 on. I'll have recorded in one day and then today I'm going to try to record like four to seven more <laughs> we'll see we shall see do i want no i think i actually want well we gotta do we gotta get charm specter training and vanguard i haven't been doing anything with vanguard and i want to get lift up there so Vanguard is battle protection and pistol shotgun damage and specter training. Increases the damage and duration of all your powers and attacks and increases health. Increases maximum accuracy. I see. Look at all the paragon up on the top left. I can use my mouse to, to point at things if I want to. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I wouldn't mind getting stasis up just because there are some enemies that it's like it would be nice, you know? Oh, fitness? Fitness or throw? I think we should probably get his throw up a little bit. But we do need to. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to get his shotgun and assault rifles up. Maybe just assault rifle? And... Let's do throw. I should work on fitness and throw a little bit. First aid. We could definitely use some more first aid. Ha actually, ah, want to do advanced hacking on Pharaohs? Well, <laughs> now that I think about it, this is not the place to be bringing my my electrician in, my Corian machinist in. Uh, Pharos is very organic. Well, I mean, there's some Geth, but... Yeah, there's some Geth. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be good. I, I want to see if this will work on some of the higher level Geth. Alright, let's get out. If you, if you remember, because I think I'm going to be doing every other day on these videos. Um, we heard, we heard some chatter, calm chatter. And lo and behold, there's, That's close enough. there's people here. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just a nice person. Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. Oh! And you trust too easily, Juliana. She looks different. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. I think her hair changed. Like, I think it's her original ha hairstyle, but it's bigger. And her face looks a little different. Not like a ton, just a little bit. Interesting. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They live, though the Geth have devastated their colony. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. 
The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I should go. <laughs> I, it was quite a pleasure. The one time I've done uh, Renegade stuff it was on stream. I did, I did, a, I, did a, I, I renegated one, and I renegated most of two until, for some reason, I think the Steam version of two, I couldn't get the DLC to work, and I didn't want to play three without the DLC, because I do feel like it sets up three a lot better than just the base game does, plus you get the two uh, co companions, Kasumi and whatever his name is. Jacques? No, that's not it, but for some reason, he's. I think he's French. <laughs> I don't think he's actually French. I think he has a French sounding name, but I could be wrong. Mm. Anyway, there were a few times where being just a full renegade was, was pretty fun in, in one and in two. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. Mm. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. All right. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. It's very impersonal is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Exogeny. Even though we'll find out. <laughs> We're going to find some stuff out. And <laughs> it's going to be hard. Tell me about the college. Yeah, because nobody else we will. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Oh, I understand. How did you get split up from the Zoo's Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zoo's Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection like the building we're in now. Yeah. Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Uh-huh. No, man. You never expect company reinforcements. It's hard enough getting government reinforcements, you know? They're, like, lawfully obliged, whereas companies, like, only look at their profit margin, you know? What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Pharos is a long way from self-sufficient. This man is such a suck... <laughs> like such a brown noser. He thinks it'll get him somewhere, and it won't. You know, they'll never see him as... But that's the thing, right? You give petty power to petty people, and, like, they'll use it and abuse it to the best of their abilities, right? And that's just... That's essentially what he is doing. Where's your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. Okay, I think that's everything. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Sure. No, for sure. Um... You can survive out there. Me? You? I know you. Anyway, it's weird. I had to sit fairly close to my monitor because my headset, uh, like, cord is pretty short. Um, and so when it's... When when it's cutscenes and my character's face is fairly large, I feel like I'm staring right into her eyes. Like, and her face is like as big as my face, like on the screen, you know, like a little bigger. I wonder if I should ask for their Stop 
passive aggressively. <laughs> Whoever had to write those, what is it called? Carrot like bar- barks, like NPC barks is what it's called when they have to like just like write lines. Why build a colony if you don't intend to defend it? Mm, I mean. I hope you can get us out of this mess. I mean, I'll do my best. Do you have anything to say? The Geth have brought ruin to this world, as they do to every world. I mean, only the ones you know about, right? That's wow. <laughs> They're just chilling here with this. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. They're just chilling here, like, yeah, this little portion over here is on fire. I don't know what's on fire. It's most likely fuel, seeing as how this is just concrete. So they're like, midst the fumes and the flames. They're like, this is fine. This is fine. All this rubble makes good cover for snipers. Hey, I don't know if I've ever actually, like, I try to remember to talk to people, like, to my companions when I'm, like, out and about, but I, I don't know if I've ever heard that from him here. I'll have to double check a couple times. If I survive this, I'm going back to Earth. It just can't get worse than this. Uh, How are we supposed to fight an enemy like this? Uh, oh, wait. Commander, uh, what can I do for you? Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Uh, what you could do is take some of shears and, and, remember, if you see my and fix your Karen hair. Hmm. Shut up. <laughs> the frontier is a lot more dangerous than most people. Are have. you guys the rent cops? There's just security. These people had their shot. That's more than some get. These people had their shot? What do you mean? In a few weeks, none of the colonists will remember this planet even exists. What? What do you mean? What does that mean? Both of you, I don't, I actually don't know. Like, is it, is that, it sounds very ominous? And by colonists, do you mean the ones out there or the ones in here? Because they're two separate and distinct groups, like, legitimately, for a couple of reasons. I just, okay, fine. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak. Yeah, well. I've got a bit of a problem. You're freaking over here talking to yourself like, oh, wow, I sure hope somebody can help me. Someone who's big, buff, and beautiful. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> what do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. <sighs> what is it about you that makes people <laughs> assume we enjoy being in harm? About me? <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm wearing yeah. armor. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. Uh. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny? Oh, whoops! Lately? I'm not interested in this. All right. Just remember, there's money to be made if you want it. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh... That's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. Hmm, I wonder if he does know. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind. Did I get it? I did. I do, I, it's a little annoying sometimes how like you could try to like refri your freeze refuse a quest and it still sits in your your quest line, like, even if you're like, no, I don't want to, they're like, oh, but I guess in real life, right, like, somebody tells you something, and, and you might remember it later, you know, and then, like, later, you're like, like, when you're in front of the console, you're like, oh, what harm could it be, <laughs> you know? What I said. Uh, I don't think it's a bad thing. Continue. Uh, please, keep your fire to a minimum when you go to the Exogeny building. We want to minimize damage. You're, you're a no, moron. And I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. <laughs> You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping Exogeny profit. 
Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. Uh, tell me about Exogeny. He loves it. Please. His Exogeny favorite. Corp is the premier engine His favorite topic. In the new multi-system economy. Uh-huh. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. Mm, he sounds like a, an ad. What are the company's core interests? Exogeny has a number of subsidiary companies in many different fields. The most profitable adapt alien technologies. There are many other industrial branches, but they aren't really relevant to Pharos. They adapt alien technologies. So what they do is take stuff somebody's already made and repurpose it and sell it as their own. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, no, yeah, yeah, it's very innovative. It's very innovative. No, you're just like stealing somebody else's stuff and like rebranding it. <laughs> Maybe tweaking it here and there. Do you have any idea why the Geth attacked you? None. We're scrambling to find anything of value. There's nothing here to warrant an invasion. There's barely enough here to warrant a colony. I wonder how many of them know what's actually here. I think I think the mom doesn't know because I think I don't think any of them do because we'll find out later, right? That Lisbeth like found out and she wasn't supposed to know, but like some of these people have to know. I think the hacker guy might know simply because he's a hacker guy, even though he didn't say he was a hacker guy, but he's a computer guy. Tell me about yourself, John. <laughs> me? Yeah, I was sent here to do some routine estimations of the potential return on investment. The attack was certainly a surprise to me. I've been trapped here ever since. <sighs> Can't wait for the home office to get me off this rock. Mm, so he's not from here. I didn't realize that. I'm going. Please be careful if you go to headquarters. It's already burning, my dude. Hello, you're staring off very forlornly. We ran when the attack came. Well, okay, what? I don't think any of the colonies get the support they deserve. The get just blindsided us. We never stood a chance. Where is he from? Like Wales? Every colony deserves a chance. We ran when the <laughs> Do they have like a do they all have like a series of things they say? Pharos could have been great if we'd had the support we asked for. Ah. We don't even know where the Geth came from. We fought hard for this colony. Only Exogeny had supported us from the start. Yeah. You fare better against the I didn't realize they had multiple ones. They wiped out our defenses in minutes. This wouldn't have happened if Exogeny had backed us from the start. I mean, it might have. Truly, the Geth probably wouldn't have cared. But Exogeny was apparently getting ready to cut its losses on this colony, probably. Until they found them. We asked for help in the beginning, but they didn't listen. Uh, until, uh... I don't know if the colony could survive. Later. We've been trapped for days. Do you guys have food or water? Exogeny could have prevented all this. I mean, it's very natural to blame it on them because oftentimes they make they they are usually at the root of all Exogeny problems. Would be more interested in protecting their corporations, soulless corporations, are generally at the root of all problems. But <laughs> do you guys repeat anything else? Exogeny Corps appreciates <laughs> cooperation in securing its colonial assets. <laughs> what are you, a bot? Board doesn't open its accounts for just anyone. What is? Why are you telling me this? Colonization is risky, not always for the reasons people choose to believe. Oh, and sometimes it's risky because your 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 backer, your colony backer, just pulls out all of a sudden, and you're left stranded. Exogeny Corp appreciates your cooperation in securing its colonial assets. Ah, they're so creepy. This sort of deal doesn't happen often. What sort of deal? What are you talking about? Colonial affairs doesn't pay much attention to the real friends. Okay, Mr. Peek it around with your gun. In a few weeks, none of the colonists will remember this planet even exists. Hey, they're creepy. Like, what the freak? <laughs> What the frick? Those guys! They don't open their accounts. Just anyway, I'm not getting paid by Exogeny for any of this! Unless they're talking about themselves. Just you guys wait. I know most of you have probably, you probably know what's going on, but I, but I know that a couple people don't. So I'm, I'm all, I'm all, I'm being coy with some things. Am I not hitting you? I love doing that. Is there? 
for this. There it is. There it is. Package is secure. We're leaving now. This is the other radio chatter. I knew I couldn't have forgotten completely about everything. Okay. things hard on myself by just trying to like weapon them to death I have all these abilities here let's good as new I can only have six max I think so I will take that med now and tally was low so shredder rounds and proton rounds shredder rounds are good against organic foes I think the proton ones are like radioactive or something I don't know, they changed the names. Essentially, there's there's several different mods that kind of do the same things. Um, and then they start changing the names. Like, the anti-personnel rounds, they're like, that's for against organic. And then they're like, Shredder, also against organic. Wait, shut down the comm. We've got incoming Geth. Damn it, shut oh. down the comm. Oh, here it is, okay. Oh, 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 you want to do it like this. Hang on, hang on. Oh, no, okay, the Geth aren't actually there. That was just a human. Aha, I was hoping I could get splash damage. Ah, okay, that was the only one I could do. Well, you guys are scavenging me. Oh, they're down there. Okay. Get this out of the way. Oh, that's not stationary. That's unfortunate. Secure until I got here. Well, until the Geth got here because I heard them talking. Ooh, we're in level five. And the medical interface and the exoskeleton. But what I'm interested in. Oh, okay, it would be for Tali, that's right. Yes. Too bad I can't give her any new armor! I should really look it up how to. I've looked it up before, but who can remember any of that? Uh, I mean, that makes it very powerful, but you don't get many shots in. And that's not like shots, it is. Yeah, it's, it's a heat sink capacity, for, like by seconds. I occasionally use the sniper rifle when I feel like cheating. Hardened weave. Ash. I will equip that. <laughs> Out we go. I'm not gonna deal with that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Did you gonna die? Let me out! Was that? Okay, I was like, oh no. Did it close on me? 
You guys, you guys shot your shot, right? You shoot, shoot your shot and all that, but, uh... The Geth are swarming. Extremely heavy once we are inside. Oh, I see you. Where are you? You're still jammed? What is that? Door control? Still jammed? Blocked ourselves. Did we block ourselves? No. Nope. Okay. Oh, there we go. We're not jammed anymore. Okay. There you are. Come on. Not now, Shepard. Oh yeah, we're in the middle of a fight. Okay. Just the way I like them. Time to clean this place now. Where's Teddy? Tally stuck? Tally is stuck. Come on, Tally. We don't usually have this problem in this game. Come on. Path around, path around. Always gotta check for goodies, even though I hate getting them. <laughs> it's like the eternal conundrum. Hmm. Do I have? Oh my gosh, I have. I do have a combat scanner six now. So let's put that on the pistol. Still. Oh my gosh. I think they're in a room? I know there's a big bad in a room. Uh... Heads up. Actually, let's see. No, I think we can't do we can't do the hacking yet. It's not gonna do anything. Ooh, she took that shot. Run! Oh no! Oh, we're very dead. Good to go. I don't even know what to do right now.
to see me outside this room, technically. I'm ready. They're both ready after we got absolutely blasted. What? Ooh. What? How did it come back? How did it come back? How did it come back? That's what I get for cheating. That's what I get for cheating. I got XP again for killing it again, though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I heard him say, like, like engagement words, right? Or we're, like, engaging in a fight. And I was like, nah, it must just be a... It must just be delayed reaction. Delayed code reaction or something. Nope, it was not. Okay, can you stop being... I think if I try to heal her right now, her, her health bar is green. She's been, like, hit with toxins or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna call this one here. It's gone a little long, but <laughs> thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. That's exhilarating. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Hello everyone, a real quick addendum here at the end for Patreon. At some point these will be integrated a bit more efficiently once I can catch up on the editing as it was as you can tell, I didn't wasn't able to put in Patreon for the last like 10 episodes or so since episode 19, and I do apologize for that. Hopefully I can put the better system in the future, or it'll just have to be done in batches. But given my editing constraints, I can finally get these in now, so I just wanted to say thank you so much to Scalamunger, a sapling uh, <laughs> patron. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> And thank you so much, Reese Galito, another sapling. Both of those people uh, have pledged, I guess, at the, the tier two, the sapling tier, the $5 tier. So thank you so much again, both of you. It's incredibly kind. And here, I guess there's, there's your shout out. <laughs> um, but also included is Christopher, who is on the tier three <laughs> tree um pledge i guess i'm not quite sure what the lang language is to use i'm so sorry i'm i'm using like kickstarter and twitch terms but thank you so much christopher for the 10 for the for the 10 dollar pledge um i appreciate it a lot like thank you so much and again all of you thank you so much it it's really i this is this is honestly more than i expected <laughs> especially from the start so i really do appreciate it a lot again thank you all so much i really appreciate it and i will see you all next time <laughs>